Hello all and welcome to another episode of Shenanigans on the Magic School Bus. Back with Apollo's plan to continue for searching for Sentinel energy traces. So return to space to begin the search. So here's a trick if you're up against a mountain. Wait for my suit to recharge. If you're up against the pace of a mountain and you need to go all the way up the mountain. I'm still pointed in the right general direction. Just face right up to the mountain and you can go all the way up without needing to worry about. general direction. Okay, so there is the thing that I'm looking for. So let's go down there and access it. This is a monolith. I don't know what to expect. An army of sentinels, perhaps? Some gateway? When in the shifting structure, I can feel something else. A story, a vision. Activate. The traveler arrival. Through the lonely cosmos, they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly, an aberration, a door to the heaven. No Gek, no Viking, no Korvax could be see it could see it. Only the traveler could perceive the portal. They, they did not know how to step through. They did not know the secret land routes, the glyphs. They did not yet grasp the price of the truth with witness glyphs. I'm filled with knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see glyphs in my mind, part of the code I need to activate upon. As I depart, I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. Escape or destroy. So I'm just going to run. And just like that, I'm out of range. Oh. I 
activated them again. So I gotta get out of range. Stay out of range long enough. Twelve seconds. There are some weird animals on this planet. There we go. So I'll make it back to my ship and jump in before it jump in before they can aggravate again. That's, that's the key. You gotta get into your ship before they can aggro again. There we go. And take off. What's the log say? Apollo has traced the signal signal to a location on a nearby world. Next one. As I approach, I feel the same burning sensation in my eyes. Activate. The Traveler, Sin. The Traveler found the way they always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Within the shattered memory of the Sentinels, the Traveler found the glyphs they needed. The Traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds were left to visit. They'd seen so many, they did not wish to die before they saw them all, and the Atlas answered, Atlas answered, 18, bill, 18 quadrillion, etc. More than could be seen in any lifetime, it was impossible. I'm filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the glimpse in my mind, another piece of the code. Think of the atlas. I've encountered this name many times in my travels. Back in we go. Again, one final scan. Everything is tinted with the red. The travel, a purpose. The Atlas told the travelers they were the first of their kind that a multitude would follow. The first traveler rejected the gift of the Atlas. All of these worlds, all of the time itself, it would be the further travelers to witness. I'm filled with the knowledge of the ancient traveler. I see the final gift in my mind, the final purpose of the code, the final portion of the code. scan for the portal ley line.
and away we go. One precaution, I don't remember if this is the transition that damages my ship and multi-tool, but to be safe, I switch multi-tools to my original multi-tool that I don't use, and my original ship that I also don't use. Anything is damaged, it'll be on the ship that I don't necessarily need. Breach, breach, breach. I approach the portal, I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led to me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis, I might find the source, I might find a whole new universe, but it is more than this. This is not fate, I'm making a choice. A leap of faith. Input the glyphs. out the other side on a planet I've never seen before. A strange planet. Warning. Hostile system. Is my exosuit damaged? No. So I can safely call my ship the correct one. Can I? Ah, uh, this is the point where the Atlas calls me to it. Welcome to the Atlas. A leap in the dark. Speak with the Atlas. As you approach the Atlas, you see these things on the left and right. You can search these and each one of them will have a warp cell. You approach the pedestal and access the interface. Ask who this is. Hello world. We were once travelers, we once aspired to more than dirt and dust. Perform diagnostic. Traveler. Reality fades, everything does. My body, my voice, my soul, all of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis, I want to find them, but something is happening to me.
Commencing at assistance suit visualization. got my suit back, I've got my ship back. I escaped to my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the sentinels. Why did I even step through that gateway? Why did I follow this path? to rescue Artemis. Is that true or a lie did I tell myself? Artemis was in need of assistance, but did I really risk my life just for them? There's an inbound transmission emerging from a location on this very planet. You are not alone. In transmission. So now I have a new mission, but we will end the transmission here, end the episode. So, have a good evening, I'll see you in the next episode.